Happy Memorial Day. It's Laura Brockway here. Just out meditating on an early morning walk and thinking about a few things and I don't know if I can even tie them together. But, you know, the first thing I was thinking about is those that we are honoring today who died for our freedoms and we honor them from this lockdown where our freedoms are being taken away from us. I'm pretty fortunate where I am in Indiana. We are opening up and things are getting somewhat back to normal, albeit we have to wear masks and do, you know, other things that don't really make any sense just to try to get back to uh, some sort of life, even with our adjustments. But, you know, just literally a few feet from where I am right now, I'm right on the state line. Over in Illinois, they don't even have the freedoms that I have right here. So I, I'm counting my blessings. I'm, I'm sitting, I'm staring at an empty golf course just across the state line. And I'd love to be playing golf today. It is a perfect day for a round of golf. And I could do that here in Indiana. Um, I probably won't, but uh, I just, Looking at the emptiness of a golf course in Illinois on Memorial Day, which should be a really busy day for playing golf, it just makes me really sad. But, you know, the other thing I was thinking about I was praying the Joyful Mysteries and I was meditating on the fifth Joyful Mystery, finding Jesus in the temple. Jesus at 13 years old. Uh, I mean, I was an idiot at 13 years old. I'm still an idiot. In fact, I'm a better idiot because I have another almost 40 years of practice at being an idiot. <laughs> the apostles were idiots, so I'm in good company. But here is this 13-year-old God-man uh, speaking in the temple, preaching in the temple, and what, what it would have been like just to be anyone there or fly on the wall hearing him would have been just so truly powerful and I don't know if I don't know if the people there knew what they were witnessing but I know Jesus himself knew the significance of the particular event and then I'm trying to tie them together these two things Memorial Day and finding Jesus in the temple and I think I'm thinking of the apostles, and we, we, we remember them all on All Saints Day. It's kind of our Memorial Day because they fought for our freedoms in the church. They fought to build the church. And, you know, uh, those who died in service of our country fought for our freedoms, fought and died for our freedoms also. So we have so much thanks to give. I don't know what my part in this whole thing is because I am just one little idiot and one little idiot and a whole bunch of idiots and I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just going to surrender. That's my plan. She's going to remember that God is in control and I can't do anything to change all of this. All I can do is stay faithful, loyal, strive for holiness to the end and for me that means um, fighting for my faith, fighting for my freedoms. For other people that might mean staying at home and protecting themselves, that's okay with me. But my particular thing in surrendering is uh, not surrendering my rights, my freedoms, my beliefs or my traditions, but to fight for them. So. I know we're all in this together and we all have a little bit different part in this. So on this Memorial Day, let us just remember all of those who died to get us to where we are today and let us thank them. And just in simplicity, let us thank God for all of it. Uh, I'm gonna pray one, our Father, on the way out. In nomine Patris et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Pater Nostra, qui es in celis, Sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat renum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et simite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, 
Él no nos educa en tentaciones, se libera de nuestro malo. Amén. En nombre de Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amén. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. I love you all. God bless you.